you take a guy who has everything and he can be miserable and you take a guy who has nothing and he could be happy who's an example of a person who has everything in history in the Torah who's an example who would you say somebody has everything Adam it wasn't a person who owned more real estate than Adam Adam owned the whole world he he had everything he was told by God also you can do what you want, when you want, how you want, whatever you want. There's no, there's no nothing. There's only one thing in the world that I'm commanding you not to do. There's one tree amongst thousands of trees in the Garden of Eden. One tree that you cannot have. You know how long it took Adam to sin? Less than three hours. That means you had a guy who has everything and he's not happy. He's not happy with what he has. He didn't even have time to explore the trees that he's allowed to taste. He already... And then you have a guy who you strip everything away from him. Who's an example of somebody you strip everything away from? A guy in Auschwitz. A guy in Auschwitz. Take my grandfather for example. My grandfather was a person who saw his wife and his two children gassed in front of his eyes on his first day that he arrived in Auschwitz. He took his whole family, his whole friends, his whole community, everything was taken away. He's, he, all he was was a number. He was nothing. He didn't own anything. Nothing. All he was was a number. And every single morning in the camps, he said the morning blessings, thanking Hashem, thanking God. So you have a guy who has nothing, and he's happy, he's thanking God for what he has. So attitude, it's all positivity, is all about, it's all in your head. You don't need to be Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg to be happy. But I got the richer you are, the more, the more you have worries. So it's all in the mind. You choose to be happy. Lesson number four from Itamar is you choose to be happy.